Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Magic School. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. All you need to do is look for Magic School in your browser and this is what you will see. Are you joining as a student or educator? In my case, I'm an educator. And notice um, you can sign up or sign in using uh, the following information. So let me log in since I already have an account and I'm in. And this is what you will see. Now notice there's lots of information here. So I suggest you go through it very, very slowly because all of it is very, very important. First of all, take a look at the left where you've got Magic Tools, Reina, your chatbot, Output History, Launch to Students, Training, which is super important. And as I said, training is a huge part of any use of technology for educators. Share the magic and so on. I'm using the free version, which has everything I need. So notice again, right now I'm in Magic School. I can go into Magic Student and it'll look slightly different, but you'll see a lot of commonalities. Let me go back into Magic School. Notice you can go into Rupert Generator, Writing Feedback, text dependent questions, AI resistant assignments, and exemplar and non-exemplar AI write. Notice also uh, the tools, they're all AI generated. Image generator that comes with it, and I'm talking about the free version of course, presentation generator, text Rewriter, lesson plan, which is super important, right? Multiple choice quiz, assignments, worksheet generator, report card comments, text lever, academic content. If you're not in the K-12 or with adult learners, this would be very useful. Informational text, professional email, YouTube video questions. Super important, right? Because our students love to watch videos and what better way to engage them than with this YouTube video question generator. Text summarizer and you can take a look at the long list of amazing AI generated tools that teachers love and definitely need to make their lives easier and more effective, of course, teacher observations. Notice the list goes on and on, vocabulary-based text, syllabus generator, also like lesson planner, very important. Right, so let's start with YouTube. Okay, on the right here, there's also IEP generator. I don't know if you noticed that but you'll find this for math. This is for all school subjects, as you can see, absolutely amazing. Now, if you can't find something, you just go into the search tool. In my case, it's going to be YouTube. Add that there, and here it is, YouTube video questions. There's also video summarizer. <laughs> I love this because it's not that easy. I mean, ChatGPT has a GPT for this but it's not always available. And um, this is completely free because there are some paid YouTube video summarizers. So we're looking for free, right, as educators. So let's take a look at this one. So you need to get your video ready, of course, before you do this. So we're gonna start with YouTube summarizer. And here we go. We'll add, notice here, there are two ways of getting a URL. So make sure that you get this one from the browser window, which has watch and then the number. So I'll just paste it, but it's nice that they gave you an example. Okay. And that's the correct URL length of summary. Now this is really important. I do not want bullet points and I do not want headings. And I like at least um, 
10 paragraphs. So 10 paragraphs, no bullet points or headings. Okay, that's what I prefer. Now we'll click on generate it and generate and here it goes. That was, <laughs> that was so fast and oops, there you go. Isn't that absolutely amazing? The video provides a comprehensive guide. Love it. Now, I think this is a lot better than the one I got. Now, notice here, can you provide tips on engaging? Okay, these are probably some questions. But what I can do is I can go to my video and simply add this in the description. And if you create videos as I do, this would be very, very helpful. So I love this. Notice you can also share it. You can edit the prompt if you're not happy with it. And uh, other actions. Notice right from here, you don't even have to go into the other one. You can translate. It's not amazing. Translate. Add questions. Uh, length. Summarize. Custom. So let's see the translate. Notice all the languages that you can translate the description into. And then you can add it in your video if you like to... Uh, also have translations there and this could cost you a lot of money and you're getting all this for free so choose a language i think romanian for now is a good choice for me click on that and there i've got romanian the description in romanian this is so important all right you can also read it no i love this part Educatorii pot modifica numele complet și scurt al cursului în setări, împreună cu o descriere scurtă și o imagine. Se subliniază importanța salvării modificărilor după efectuarea ajustării. This is great for language uh, pronunciation. If you're learning a language um, and you'd like to know how to read the language, because you know if you're um, you know, a native speaker of English or only know English, in my case, then uh, this will be very helpful because reading in Romanian is, I mean, everything's different. The writing, the script is completely different. Uh, here, can you summarize the key points? That's also something, but that's for the upgrade. So we're not looking at the upgrade right now. Uh, we can also... Uh, get this in another language so uh, you can play around with this and choose what language you'd like. I think in my case I would also like Spanish since I'm currently learning Spanish. I love this. So um, I can translate into Spanish and then I can of course uh, notice how fast that is. I'm amazed at the speed. You know I think that even uh, ChatGPT doesn't do it as quickly as this one. So let's read Spanish. El video comienza presentando la estructura del curso, que cuenta con un nombre personalizable. Los educadores pueden modificar el nombre completo y corto del curso. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Try it out. Look, there's also more. You can save the resource on your computer, okay, which is super important because you do want to save it, just in case, but to have it for you. So I'm going to do that in the background. Let's continue. So we've got, let's go back here and take a look at questions for the same video. So, um, okay, so right now we're looking at adults, year 13, professional staff or university. Okay, so I think I'll go for university, multiple choice questions or free response, true or false. And number of questions, um, I don't know, let's go for 10. The video, um, it's the same video, right? It stayed here, there's our URL and it's uh, it's in green. So there, notice the speed again. This is absolutely amazing. So these are the questions and the key without even asking for it. We've got the key, very important. All right, now we can read aloud. This is great, of course, for students, since don't forget that we can launch to students. We can launch everything, except for the key, of course, to students, so that they can have it read aloud to them. Again, very important, not only for language learners, for anyone who has accessibility issues or is challenged in some way or just wants to hear it, which is uh, okay. And we can save that again, save. 
All right, so we'll give it a title. We'll call it questions and the name of the video. Okay, in this case, I'm just gonna be very brief and then save. And that's it, it goes into my computer. What else can we do here? Let's uh, go back. Okay, very, con you can also share it, of course, as I mentioned, with the world. Uh, presentation, slides based on a topic. Let's see what that takes us. All right, so university, okay, it stayed with that. Five, I prefer 10 slides, okay. Add a topic. Now we can simply copy uh, the description. So let's do that now. Let's copy the description. So we've got 10 slides and the content, let me add it. Notice um, you can also add the content by voice which is, I love this. Sometimes I just get tired and it's a lot easier for me to speak. I think most teachers are like that. It's probably easier for them to speak and then to write. So all you need is to allow, okay? And then you just start recording. So, and here it goes. The recording is going on and you can see me as I speak because it's, okay, so let me stop the recording and then, uh, okay, so there I was. Let me uh, just add the content. First of all, notice it's the topic, standard content or objective. So I'm just gonna add everything. Um, additional criteria, let me just generate 10 slides based on the video. Okay, so here it goes. Um, it's divided into slides, okay? And, uh, and that's how it works. Absolutely amazing, right? And again, you can base questions on this, on the slides, translate, uh, length. Okay, you can make it longer. Well, that's for the paid. But uh, notice this is also for the paid. So that's an option. If um, your school pays, you know, that would be great. Maybe you can talk to your school and that would be awesome. All right, so we've gone through that. Let's go back here. So our focus was on YouTube. Uh, videos but notice um, what else you can do you can do something new you can planning content questions student support communication and so on so let you explore it but before you go anywhere uh, let's go on to Reina chatbot okay so notice uh, what happens here this is an AI instructional coach and uh, you can ask questions have it read aloud. Notice the other option saves the resource here. But you can also, as I said before, and this is for everything, you can communicate with Raina. Hi, Raina. I'd like information about using videos with very young learners. Can you help me with that? Assessment effective use of videos with very young learners. What is the recommended maximum duration for videos used with very young learners? A. 10 minutes. B. 15 minutes. C. 5 minutes. D. 20 minutes. Which of the following is not a key consideration when using videos with very young So here we are. Uh, this is what I asked. So, hi, Raina. I'd like information about and so on. So now I can hit this and see what Raina has to say. And here she comes. Wow, that's a lot of information, Raina. All right, so um, here's what she wrote. Using video, well, I can actually have her read it. Course creation overview. The video begins by introducing the course structure, which features a customizable name. Educators can modify the course's full and short names in the settings, along with a brief description and an image. It's emphasized that saving changes is crucial. Okay, let me stop that. But again, notice what you can do here. Uh, under more, you can save it, of course. You can edit. Um, and that's about it, right? Um, you can also um, continue with questions. Or if you go into the plus here, you can translate. <laughs> again, I love that. Um, and get questions based on the information. So if you click on questions, 
uh, you'll be able to get multiple choice and so on, but notice it's for the upgrade. So if you want to do the questions, you need to go into another area. I'll take you there in a second. So that's the translate. So we've got this text. We can copy it, okay, to make sure that we have it instead of going into our computer and saving it there. So we've copied it, and now we'd like to, oh, notice here it's also uh, another feature. We want questions based on that. So let me show you how that's done. We're going to go into magic tools because that's where the tools are. And here we can choose. And right now we're looking for questions. And uh, you can also generate an image based on that. Okay, so these are all the tools that you can use. But we're going to go into multiple choice. There we are. And questions, I always like at least 10. And then um, we'll be able to add the following, but I'm just going to paste that, uh, the information that I got from Reina. And there we go. If you want to take a look at the questions, uh, they're available here. But why read when you can listen? I really love listening. Talking too, right? But listening. So let's read aloud. Using videos with very young learners. Incorporating videos into lessons for very young learners can be highly effective when done thoughtfully. Here are some key points to consider. 1. Engagement. Young children are naturally drawn to visual stimuli. Using colorful and animated videos can capture show you a bit, and there's so much more. So I suggest you explore magic school and share the magic once you do. Looking forward to your magic. Bye for now.